YouTuber. What's going on? It's your boy Mike McFly and you're watching McFly Collectibles. Today's video, I got a special unboxing straight from Funko. And guess what? It's back to the future. Let's open them up and check them out. Thanks for watching McFly Collectibles. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. So guys, just want to quickly unbox this for y'all because I'm excited. Got these in the mail and these actually released online on Funko's website randomly. I honestly was just going on their website checking what they had and I seen the, I, you know, I typed it in, I put Back to the Future and I typed it in and these three were left. So I was like, oh man, click buy on all three right now. Cause you know, I'm a big Back to the Future fan and they do come in pop sorters, different pop sorters, little piece of paper. Don't like that, but it was already in a box inside a box. So let's take out the first one. And this one is, all right. This one is Doc 2015. This one is from Back to the Future part two. This is when he bumps into Marty. Actually the end of the first one, He's dressed up like this to let Marty know that they need to go to, um, to the future now. So this is, uh, I like the way he looks, the whole sunglasses. Um, as you can see, factory code right here on the bottom. Box is in mint condition, mint condition box. Good job, Funko. And yeah, so basically him with the shades is pretty cool. You got him with the yellow jacket. Obviously he's dressed up like he's in the year 2015. It's, it's a classic movie, both movies. Part three was okay, but Part one and part two was like a classic. Just, they definitely better not remake. Any movie company, do not remake Back to the Future. Leave it alone. This pop, he looks awesome. Um, I would like to get the other ones, Doc with Helmet. That's one I'm definitely going after too, trying to get the whole set. But definitely for sure, I'm happy that now I have this one in my collection. Second one, now we gotta take the second one out the box. Say, different pops. All right, nice. This one is pretty cool. This one is Marty. 1955 this is obviously when uh from the first one when he was dressed up and this is when uh i believe he was in this the yeah because he has a skateboard in his hand as you can see the box mint condition box once again factory code right on the bottom so yeah um to describe this pop this is when he was in the first one this is part one and uh he the little kids had i guess you could say scooters wooden scooters and he breaks it off and then turns it into a skateboard which was awesome and yeah the rest of the scene, Biff is chasing him with uh, Biff and his, uh, basically his goons going at the Marty. And yeah, Biff drives into a pile of shit. So yeah, um, the movie was great. That scene was funny. And I'm glad that I have this pop. This one right here, for sure, me personally, might go up in value soon. I believe since all the Back to the Future pops go up in value, this one for sure is going to go up in value. Because I'm hearing everybody's trying to get this set. So And the fact that when I went online, they also had the one with the uh, doc going down the light tower, the clock tower with the electricity. And that one was the first one gone. Because when I checked to buy, that was sold out. Then I saw uh, these two and then the next one I'm going to show you. So they only have four out of the seven. So at least I got right now this one. All right, so let's go to the last one. And this one is... Oh. Oh man, guys, it's hard to take out. <laughs> All right, this one. Marty and Puffy Vest. This is when basically he was uh, recording. Let me show you the box real quick, guys. Box is once again, mint condition box. Also, factory code right here on the bottom. Mint condition box. So describe this pop. He's basically obviously wearing the, um, holding the camcorder, holding his Puffy Vest. This is when he was recording Doc. Uh, uh, spoiler. This is when he was recording Doc, when Doc um, basically had the, basically the ingredients, the plutonium, to make the time travel, and that's before the Libyans came in and they, spoiler alert, they shot Doc. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, this pop looks awesome. The whole vest, the whole holding the camcorder looks just like him. Guys, I'm pretty excited that I have a, another Back to the Future set. I have, uh, as you see my intro to my video, I have him with the hoverboard. That one is going for about a hundred and I believe fifty-five or one hundred and seventy-five dollars in between there. I have the um, Emmett Brown, Doc Emmett Brown, uh, when his with his regular Doc outfit. 
Um, I also have regular um, Marty McFly, just with the regular velvet um, vest. And he also looks a little bit puffy, like a little bit whiter. And the old pops, obviously these are the newer pops. That pop, I believe, is from 2014, 2015. I could be wrong. But glad that I have these guys in my collection now, especially this one. I am looking for, right here, you see, I'm looking for the ones in the back. I need the whole set. And for what I'm hearing, Biff, Biff is going for $37 right now on PPG. Why? I don't know. I mean, he looks... He looks regular, but <laughs> man, like Biff for thirty-seven dollars right now. People are selling for thirty-seven, and I believe the Doc with the helmet might be going for thirty or, or something like that. Or Marty with the future outfit that might be going for a lot more money because I guess the hat, you know, his hat looks like it is like a hologram type material. But otherwise than that, now got another Back to the Future in my collection. There you have it, collectors. Just showed you guys three. Out of the seven Back to the Future Wave 2 sets, I'm excited to actually pick these up out of nowhere randomly. Whew, I have a friend that lives out in Oregon, and he basically told me, he sh actually not told me, he shows me a picture of a, a, a local Walmart where he lives at, I guess out there in the West Coast in Oregon, and he basically tells me, hey, guy, I got it. <laughs> I got all, all the whole set. Hey, I don't think he has the um, clock tower. Maybe he does. I got to take a look at the picture. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of jealous of that, but... I got these three right now. It goes with my San Diego Comic Con. This one I'm excited to get. Trust me, guys. So uh, as you can see, I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm doing a pop hunt later this week, hopefully to look for these guys. The rest, the rest of the set, and maybe I can find the clock, um, the like the clock tower. Yeah, if I can find that clock tower, that would be great. I think it's going for thirty dollars. I don't really have any, you know, those Funko houses, you know, and like those type of deluxe pops. I don't really have anything like that in my collection because. To me, the 10 inches are already big enough, I, you know, and I feel like those are a lot wider, but not too big, but I'm gonna definitely get that because I'm gonna be biased. It's back to the future, gotta get it. So yeah. You hear that, right guys? It's lightning, thunder. I think these guys know I'm doing a review on their pops. <laughs> They're trying to get to the future, just like the movie. Wow, what a coincidence. Talking about the clock tower and then lightning strikes. <laughs> Let me know, guys, in the comments down below. Are these pops a cop? Is it a drop? Will you get these guys? Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please, once again, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell to get updated on all my new content that's coming up. Guys, thank you for watching. You're watching McFly Collectibles. I'm out of here.